Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Pickleball and Politics, where I combine my quest to stay out of the kitchen with my passion for politics. So welcome to this episode of Pickleball and Politics. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Guess what? It's St. Patrick's Day. Yes, it is. Today is St. Patrick's Day, and I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Every Friday, I kind of want to come on and try a couple of different cocktails, because let's face it, alcohol is the only thing keeping this all together right now with everything going on in the world. So today I thought was a perfect, perfect day to do a little review of Irish creams. So I have five Irish creams here that I picked up. I got just the little nips. We call them nips here in the Northeast. I get other people call them different things. It's what you'd get on an airline, basically. We call them a nip. Everyone was $1.29 to $2.59. And I'll tell you how much each one was and a little bit about each one. I didn't research it a lot because let's let me tell you, this palette is not very sophisticated. So the first one we are going to try is called Molly's. It's called Molly's Irish Cream. And it says it's made with grass fed cream. So the cows are eating grass. That's what it says. And aged Irish whiskey. And oh, this one claims that it's 48 hours from cow to bottle. So 48 hours from cow to bottle, Molly's, it was um, $1.99. Okay, Shlanta. Hmm. That's nice. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I'll tell you that. It's Molly's. Here it is. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that was Molly's. It wasn't bad. I will tell you, it wasn't bad. Next, we are going to do Brady's in honor of Tom Brady. I know a lot of people hate him. I happen to love Tom Brady. What can I say? I'm a New England girl. I told you that before. So it's Brady's Irish Cream. And it just says it's made from local cream as opposed to cream that isn't around you, I guess. And triple distilled whiskey. So I should probably should shake them a little bit. You never know. So this is Brady. I want you to know, the, the, the Molly's was a little darker than Brady, it says. Let's see. Oh. That is more of a whiskey taste. I would say between Brady and Molly, I like Molly better. Yeah, Brady's just okay. I'll be honest with you. I'm not particularly crazy about Brady. I will tell you that. So, Brady was just okay. I'll be honest with you. Brady was just okay. It wasn't the greatest. Now we're going to do Kavanaugh. Now, Kavanaugh was the cheapest by far. Kavanaugh was only $1.29. So keep that in mind. Kavanaugh. You see it a lot of different places. I see big, huge bottles at Costco that are like $17. I mean, the big ones. The The bottle that would be about $45 of Bailey's is 17 at Costco of this Kavanaugh's. Now, Kavanaugh's is produced in Ireland. I assume they were all produced in Ireland. I'm going to have to go back and look. With caramel and chocolate, uh, fresh cream, and Irish whiskey. That's what it says on their website. And... It's the hardest bottle to open. So, Kavanaugh's again. Let's see what we got. It's fine. It's better than Brady. Molly's still better. How's that? Kavanaugh's fine. It's, it's the cheapest. And it's the cheapest, and by far, like I said, some of them go up to $2.50-something cents. Um, 
Brady was a dollar ninety nine, and Molly was like a dollar ninety nine. Molly's better than Brady and Kavanaugh. I got to keep that in mind. This is going to be like three card Monty here after a while, right? All right. I wanted to check where they're all made too. I want to see if it says product product of or produced or, or whatever. Okay. So that was Kavanaugh. I don't have enough shot glasses to go around. So I'm just going to rinse them out that way. Now this intrigued me. The most expensive one. It's called Black Irish. Turns out this is Mariah Carey's little uh, concoction. And hers says it's crafted in Ireland under special conditions to ensure quality. Okay? Doesn't say anything about the cows, about the cream, about the whiskey. Just that it's crafted in Ireland. And it's crafted under special conditions, whatever they may be. This doesn't seem as rich. I can tell just initially it didn't seem as rich. It's terrible. Sorry, Mariah. This is not what I want for Christmas. That's all I'm going to say. Because it didn't stop me going back from another one. Eh. It's a little better on the second sip than it was the first sip. I'm going to have one more sip because I have a feeling, you know, some liquor opens up your palate. No, no. Black Irish is number four so far. So Black Irish is four. Kavanaugh was three. Brady's was two. And Molly's is number one. How do you like that? I wasn't expecting that. And then, of course, last but not least. You know what last is. Of course, it's Bailey's. Considered the best by far made with real Irish cream. I love that. And uh, no, I'm sorry. It said it was made with real Irish cows. I love that. Real Irish cows as opposed to, I don't know, fake Irish cows. Real Irish cows, Irish whiskey, chocolate, and vanilla. That's what it says. Okay. Bailey's. I better not have to do a couple of takes of this because I'm telling you, it doesn't take much. I didn't have lunch today because it's Friday and it's Lent. So I didn't have lunch. And this is my dinner. Let's see. Shlante again. Shlanta. Oh, yeah. It's, it's good. It's really, really good. It is the best. It is the best. I can say it's the best, but I'm going to tell you. I'm going to go back to Molly. <laughs> yeah, Bailey's is just, it's the smoothest. It's the smoothest by far. My phone was just telling me I have a low battery. I'm going to go back and try the Molly one more time because I thought it was my favorite and I want to see if it's still my favorite. Again, 48 hours cow to bottle. That was the big the big uh, promotional consideration <laughs> thing with with Molly. She had grass-fed, grass-fed cows, grass-fed milk, and 48 hours. Yeah, I like Molly too. I still like Molly. So, number one was Bailey's Irish Cream. I don't think that surprises anybody at all, does it now? We had Bailey's. Then I would say Molly's was number two. I really like Molly's. I'm telling you. Uh, I've never seen it before. I was looking around at the nip aisles, thought this would be a fun little thing to do today at Total Wines, which was crowded because it's St. Patrick's Day. I like Molly's number two, three, Kavanaugh. In my opinion, this is my taste, my palate, um, which I know you can get at Costco for, if you belong to Costco, about $17 for the big, big one. I guess next, uh, 
I don't know who's four and five. I'll tell you, I wasn't crazy about this Mariah Carey at all. And Bailey's was num this Brady's was number four for a long time. So, and the interest of doing it right. Let's see which one gets four, which one gets five. All right, Brady. Okay. I think Brady's going to be number four. It's just a feeling I have. Let's try Black Irish one more time. It makes sense the name she gave it because she is half black and half Irish. So Black Irish. Oh, yeah. Ugh. It doesn't get better. Even though I've had all these nips. <laughs> This was definitely number five. Not even a question. So Brady's was number four. So again, Bailey's number one. I really like Molly's. I thought Molly's was close to Bailey's. Molly's number two. Kavanaugh number three right here. Bailey, Brady's. I keep on wanting to call it Bailey's. Brady's was number four. And sorry, Mariah. I do not want this for Christmas. Black Irish. The most expensive one. I like the least. Um... Bailey's was the second most expensive. So Irish cream was the uh, black. Irish was the most. Bailey's was the second. Molly and Brady were both $1.99 and Kavanaugh's for $1.29. It wasn't bad. And I had it number three. So there you go. There's a lot going on in the world. Uh, it's a Friday afternoon. I wonder what they dropped. I didn't really pay attention, I'll be honest with you. It's St. Patrick's Day, and in honor of my late mother, who I miss so much, who would be stinking up her house right now if she was alive with that corned beef in that, that slow cooker in the crock pot since 8 o'clock this morning, stinking up the place, and she'd be salivating all day waiting to get that corned beef and cabbage. I wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. It is almost spring, and um, it's a fun day for everybody. So happy St. Patrick's Day, and the dink of the day is people who don't wear green today. Yeah, even if you're not Irish, get into it, you know? Wear some green. I am Irish, uh, but... Wear, wear green today. Even if you're not Irish, you got to wear a little green. Why not? It's just part of the day. So everyone, have a happy, happy St. Patrick's Day. Don't drink and drive. I'm not going anywhere. So it's okay. I had all these nips. And until next time, 